Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. In this video, we're going to talk about the canvas size in layers. What is the canvas, how you can change its size, and why you might want to do so. So let's start by talking about what the canvas is, and the best way to do it is with an example. Whenever you bring a photo into layers, there is this thing called a canvas. I'm gonna take this photo here and bring it into layers. Now right now, nothing looks different at all other than I've got layers controls over here. So where's this canvas? It's beneath the photo. The canvas, think of it like a desktop, you know, a physical desktop that you're working on with your photo. And when you first start layers, the desk is the exact size of your photo. But if you were to change the size of the desk, you could have more canvas. Maybe a way to illustrate that is I'll go to the transform tool and right now I'll just shrink the size of my photo and we'll start to see all this checkerboard pattern around the edges. That is my canvas. I have more space now to work with. Well, I don't have to shrink my photo if I need more space. I can also increase or change the size of the canvas itself. Let's cancel that transform. And then up in the edit menu, we have adjust canvas size. So we have the canvas is told to us what it is. This is the size of the photo as it came in and we can change its properties. And you can either do that um, equally or you can do it just with the edges. Now for this photo, the reason I want to change the canvas size is I have a compositional problem. This is an old film scan. I captured the scan. I think I was in a car driving by this area at the time. And this boat is really crammed up against this left edge and I'd like to have a little more space there to give it some breathing room. So what I'll do is turn off the lock proportions because I just want to change the width of my canvas. And let's add maybe 500 more pixels. So I'll make that 5843 and press apply. Now I have space on either side of the photo. I have more room to work. My canvas is bigger now. So what will I do? I'll grab my transform tool. We'll move this over to the right edge about there. I'll duplicate the layer. Now I'm working on this top layer. I'll flip it horizontally and I'll take this piece and I'll move it over here so I can line up my background and have a clean horizon line and the mountains will be all smooth. Somewhere around there is good. We'll apply that. And now what remains is to do the cleanup with my retouching brushes. So I need to retouch away a little bit of this seam that shows up here, some of the repeating or mirrored patterns, and of course, removing the boat. And that's a retouching job using the retouch tools, the perfect eraser, the clone stamp, and the retouch brush itself. But that's the canvas size. So it is in every one of your photos and layers, whether you knew it or not. And in certain situations, you may want to change the canvas size. Well, my name's Scott Davenport, and I hope you enjoyed the video.